What's going on guys welcome back hopefully you guys are all doing well okay so in this video what I want to do is I want to make this page not so big because we have all our information right here from our edit underscore uh, info.php page that we pulled in but we got a lot of code on this page so what I want to do is I want to go ahead and grab the remainder of our form starting right here so right underneath the action Go ahead and grab this. We could change this right now to page title or uh, page name, whatever you prefer. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to start here. I'm going to grab my information title and I'm going to pull this all the way down, yada, 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 to right above here to this closing P tag. Now let's copy that. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a new page. And let's go to our text editor. Go to TextMate. We'll go new, and I'm going to go ahead and paste this in here. Go down to PHP to change the color. And obviously this isn't done yet because we don't need, we do not even have PHP tags right here, opening nor closing. I'm just going to save it for the time being, and I'm going to save it as, we can put it in our includes folder. Where's my folder? Desktop, Village Park. And I'll just save it to the root folder. We could save it to the includes folder as well. Doesn't matter. It's just preference of where to correctly locate it. And I'll go ahead and call this page whoop, page underscore form dot php because this is how we're going to create or add pages to our content management system. I'll go ahead and click save just like that. And I think just for the remainder of this video all I want to do is I want to add some more HTML to it so come down here to the bottom and again we don't have any closing p tags right now because we're including this so let's just go ahead and give it a new paragraph tag and we'll go ahead and call this content or body just content works for the time being and I'll do an HTML break tag and in here, what do I want to give my text area? And again, this is just basic HTML text area. We'll call this name. Have we already used contents? I don't know, but I don't think so. So I'm going to take a shot in the dark and just go with content. Uh, rows, we'll call it 20 column calls, maybe 180. And let's just go ahead and close out our p tag right now because our PHP is going to go right in here, which we're going to do in the next video. Feels like I'm missing something. Feels like I'm missing something. I'm missing. I closed out the wrong HTML tag. We had to close out text area, which is accurate because we have an opening text area tag right here. I'll just give it. A blank or just a couple spaces right there I could do a comment we just need to know that our PHP is going to go right there and now let's go ahead and close out our closing paragraph tag to uh, coexist with our opening paragraph tag right there so good luck with this hopefully this made sense to you guys and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video